Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to another Rococo Office Hours. I'm Sam Lazarus, Creative Director for Rococo. And if you haven't been to one of these before, this is just a time when we're here, we're live. You can talk to us and, uh, you know, today, of course, we're going to be talking more about our animation challenge. What's going on, Sasha? What's going on, Alberto? What's going on, everyone in the chat? Um, yeah, you know, if you don't know, and I'm a little bit sick, so right off the top, I'll, I'll apologize for that. I might be coughing a little bit or I look a little sickly, my overhead lighting. <laughs> <laughs> Yasuke, yeah, I know, I popped out of nowhere. Um, Parker, that's awesome. You just got your gloves. That's that's fun. I hope I hope everything's going well. And let me know if you have any problems. Um, but yeah, let me know if, and, and of course, always let me know if there's audio issues or whatever. Uh, something always goes wrong when we're live. But hello, 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 Philippe. Yeah, but you know, if you don't already know, we have our Rococo TV animation challenge happening right now. I'm on the main landing page for it right here. You can find it at Rococo.com. Let's actually, let's just, let's go find the landing page. So if we go to Rococo.com and you can see there's a banner to register right at the top, right? But if we go to community, here's this big Rococo TV. And here we go, this is the landing page. So this is where you can find out all the information you need to know about the challenge. And um, you have 23 days left to participate, which is tons of time if you haven't gotten started yet. And um, I encourage you to, to get in here and, and have a go because we have $40,000 uh, USD in prizes. We have full, we have all the prize categories here of all the prizes that you can win. You know, tons of full mocap setups, but also like Wacom tablets, Maxon licenses, um, Reillusion licenses, Steel Series headsets, um, tons of awesome things. And we have a bunch of different categories. We have the best render, which is our main kind of render category, right? It's a seven second animation in the theme of Rococo TV. So just a TV show. The whole the idea is that it's a big montage flipping through all the renders as if they're cable TV shows, right? Or, or just cable commercials or whatever. So you just need to do anything that you might run run into, you know, as you're flipping through channels on cable, which is kind of an, an old concept at this point, but maybe some of you remember that. Um, but yeah, so we have our main category, seven second animation, 168 frames, I think. So it's 24 FPS, seven seconds. Um, but then beyond that, you can do a breakdown. You have up to 20 seconds for your breakdown. We want to see how you made your entry, and we have crazy prizes for that as well. We have community favorites prizes, so that's probably going to be some of the weirder entries that are that are just like, we had a Spooderman prize win one year for, in this category, and then we're also just doing a raffle. So just for submitting, you can win a, a, a mocap suit. So which is really cool because it means that anyone of any skill level can win. Same thing for the community favorites, same thing for the best breakdown. You know, the best render will probably, you know, be a little bit more polished, I think is what we're gonna be looking for. But I actually have a little video from our judges uh, that we can watch in a second. Um, but yeah, you know, 23 more days. Sasha. Oh no, that sucks. But you know, the thing is, Sasha, what you can do, and we're gonna, so today we're gonna be talking about, the title is creating a strong and impactful entry, right? I kind of want to go through just ideas and uh, we'll get into Unreal Engine, I think a little bit, but even if you, I don't know what renderer you're in, Sasha, but um, you can always go for like an 80s look, right? Like you could even, it's, you know, if, if you were having issues with the render and you're in Unreal, for example, but you can get it to play back in Sequencer, like you could screen record Sequencer and then run it through like a VHS filter and like it will, you know, that would be fine. But yeah, I don't know what, what the issue is. Um, what program do you use to show all the submissions during the judging session? Um, the judging session, we aren't going to do it live. We're going to pre-record it because so many things go wrong, but we'll be using Discord. Um, but then we'll we'll premiere it live and like we'll all be in the chat and some of the judges will probably join, but they won't be 
judging like with a live chat because there's so many entries to go through always it's it's always a bit of a thing but i find discord is actually the best for like screen sharing so that's probably what we'll be doing um but yes if you need to know anything about the contest at all and we'll be coming back to this page in a second because we're going to be using some we've made free mocap right you have to use rococo mocap for your entry but that doesn't mean you have to already have a suit. You can use our free AI motion capture tool. We've made free motion capture that has been distributed. Um, mandatory use of Rococo mocap asset. Free resources page, right? Go to this page. We have a whole, um, I think it's almost 50 clips that we made for this. And you can use them for whatever you want, but they're great for this animation challenge. And we also have other free mocap. We have mocap from the... Um, motion library that you can get for free or you can pay for it so there's a lot of ways to get Rococo mocap to use to participate um, so Laris and Houdini whew, Sasha that's serious that's real um, but yeah you know this is where you can find all the info that you need and so I thought it would be fun we have some you know we asked the judges to kind of make some quick videos we have some crazy judges you know, it's a good reason to submit just to get your piece seen by, you know, Clint or Ian or Tim. Um, Clinton Jones, I'm sure everyone knows, icon of the community, right? Uh, has his own contest all the time, including the weekly challenge on his Discord. Ian Hubert, Blender, you know, favorite and uh, VFX, you know, favorite um, with his short uh, form series and all the work he's done on films. And he's just hilarious. Tim Fox. Um, people might be less familiar with in the community but maybe not because he has a big following as well he does a bunch of his own animations but then also he's an animation director at the mill so kind of repping the more you know ian and, and clint that they, they're on their own they're doing their own thing on youtube tim is like part of the industry a little bit more so i think that'll be a good perspective i'll be there to host but i won't be judging i'll just be trying to keep them on track um yeah, but you know Ian Hubert's going to get into it. So yeah, let's watch some of their, uh, you know, they had some, they made little videos, which I collected. We've been putting them out, out on our socials. I'm going to turn down my background music here. So let's watch these little videos from them. What's up, y'all? My name is Clinton Jones. You may know me as The Punisher, and I am back as a guest judge in Rococo's Intergalactic Animation Challenge. So there's three things that I'm gonna be looking for as a judge in the Rococo Intergalactic Animation Challenge. First thing, is it pleasing to the eye? Now, for me, that means lighting. How's your lighting? Is it punchy? Is it intentional? Is it nice and crisp? Second off is gonna be the animation. It can make or break a submission, in my opinion. And we know that you guys gotta use a piece of Rococo tech Rococo for your animation. submission in this piece, right? Not tech. But if it feels like it's not quite there, there's nothing wrong with going in and cleaning up your keyframes. That's okay, do it, it's important. And finally, I'd say story. How are you using story to stand out from the other renders? Yes. So, <clears throat> Clint, you know, and I think it's good because all of these judges will be looking for things that are slightly different because they're all very different creators. Clint, probably looking for a little bit more polish. Um, he always likes to have story, you know, so something that is clever. You got seven seconds. It's amazing what you can fit into seven seconds. You can fit in a lot. But then also the polished mocap. Um, and please, you know, editing is totally allowed at the motion capture. If you go in and make some mocap using Rococo Vision, our AI tool, it's it's more limited, right? You can go in and edit that. It just needs to be a base. So you can, you can edit the hell out of... Um, yeah, out of that Rococo. Yeah, and he said Rococo tech, but he means meant Rococo animation. You just need to use a Rococo animation. And again, we've provided a bunch of those for free. Um, so let's see, Ian. Hello, uh, my name is Ian Hubert. Uh, I've got I've got a Rococo mocap suit. I use it I use it all the time, like literally all the uh, not figuratively all the time. Uh, we are in love, and uh, and the Rococo people have offered to let me be a judge on the new animation challenge. The fools. Uh, there's three things I'm looking for uh, as, in, as a judge, I guess. Uh, the first one is when you're going stylized or realistic. I want to feel as if you really nailed the thing you were setting out to do. I, I want to feel as if it's a thing that you're really proud of. Uh, the second one, 
I am tickled by unconventional creative uses of motion capture technology. And uh, and the third one, I want to feel as if this is a container for divine human energies for, for, I want to see you put some, some effort into it, uh, that, that you're trying to do a thing, you know? Uh, so anyways, I will see you in February. Bye. Man, Ian, just like gonna be a uh, this judging session will be a blast because ian is i mean and clint and tim but ian is uh you know uh amazing to watch do anything and very different things that he's focused on right um i forget what was the first one he said stylized or realistic right nailing the type of thing you're trying to do and that was kind of like the third thing he said as well. He just wanted to see, you know, some effort put in. But I think the thing that is most unique about Ian and what will probably be waiting his opinion is like he likes the weird, right? He likes it when people get weird. He likes interesting, unique things. Um, a unique use of the mocap uh, animation. There's so many different ways. You know, you could use Rococo a mocap animation and you could you could edit it so that it looks like crazy and that would be interesting right like it was like um totally broken you could like break it you know edit it so that all the limbs are all in the wrong places and moving the wrong way and, and integrate that into like a horror promo or something tv promo like there's so many interesting ways to do it i saw I want to look at this video that we that we released with that a partner released that we worked with um, recently, and in that video they're taught they they show there's a little clip where they are they're kind of doing this they're they're kind of flipping through channels, and one of the channels one of the shows that they create is what it, it's like adopt a hand, so it's adopt a hand. Uh, it's an adopt a hand charity and they're using the Rococo mocap and it's just a hand and it's like a hand on a pillow and like in a forest. And it's like this sappy VO about give these hands a home, like really weird and interesting. And that could be like super clever. You know, you could do that. So there's so many different ways of using the mocap um, to, to do weird things. Um, We should, yeah. We we're delivering uh, worldwide, so so I think that we will NSA. Yeah. Um. Ian Hubert, I know he's the best. Yes, he's yeah, the dude. best. I, I want to feel as if, it's... but but very different from Clint. You know, I think they'll all be looking for quality, but Ian's going to be looking for something that's a little bit more out there. Hi, my name is Tim What's Fox, and on, I am an animation director at Vermil. I want to believe not at Vermil at the Mill. Which is, if you don't know the mill, whew, big time. Eating VFX and CGI production houses globally. I work in 2D and 3D, and I like to keep quite versatile with what I do. I'm very excited and very humbled to be a judge for this awesome competition. Three important things I'm looking for. Number one is clear storytelling. It's about making sure the viewer knows exactly what you're trying to portray straight away. Number two is personality, whether that's your dumb sense of humor or you know, your ability to make people emphasize with, you know, a serious message. And number three is original style. The art, the mm. craft, the cinematography and how it looks. Being able to stand out and be memorable will get you far. And finally, it, you know, it's cheesy to say, but also important to take the pressure off yourself and to have fun. Because we can always tell when the animator, the person behind the film is having fun. But also win. You know, it's important to win. I actually, I'm, I don't think I've ever talked to Tim in person yet, but I've seen so Say, much of his content. Also important. He has um, a very unique animation style, although he's done a little bit of everything. I think it's at uh, Tim Fox Cult or something. You just search Tim Fox on Instagram, you'd find him. Um, but super unique kind of cartoony style usually, although I've seen some more photo real stuff from him. He just did like a Mercedes Benz commercial with the mill super serious and amazing like creator um and and kind of a little bit of a middle ground between ian and clint i feel like like clint seems is going to be very focused on 
the fundamentals, right, on the render itself and and storytelling. Ian is going to be, it seemingly, you know, and I don't want to speak for them, but like focused on a little bit more creative, right? How unique is this piece? And then Tim is talking about how unique as well, right? That it should be polished, but also show something original, uh, whether it's the cinematography or even the animation style, right? Like you can go in and do hand painting, you know, over, um, over the render, whatever. There's so many different ways to get creative with all this. Um, and, and we're going to kind of talk about that, I think, for the rest of the stream, which I think is interesting. We'll get into Unreal as well, but I want to go through and, and find some inspiration too. Because it's still 23 days. If, if you haven't even known about the contest yet, there's still plenty of time to get started. Um, so, yeah, these are all can be found on our YouTube uh, channel on our YouTube shorts. Actually, let's actually go and and see if they're there. Uh, view my channel. Rococo, we got a shorts. There's Ian, there's Tim, and there's Clint. Yeah, so um, you can find all of these if you want to rewatch them. They're on our YouTube channel. And um, yeah, it's 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 uh it's really this one's really wide open this contest right as as i said before the 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 theme is tv the theme is clicking through cable tv right um and that can mean so many different things but i do think that there if i can only speak for myself i guess but if i was going to enter this i think there are some some kind of guidelines that i would set for myself in terms of ooh let me turn the music back up Oh, I need that music, baby. I feel so empty without it. Um, but yeah, I think there are some things, there's some ways that I would think about it, right? And I also think like all of these judges are of a certain generation. You know, they're all millennials, um, which means we, and I am too, which means we all grew up with cable TV. And I don't know how many of you did, but there is kind of an idea of cable TV in its heyday of being awake at like 2 a.m. and flipping through channels and seeing lots of weird things, seeing made-for-TV movies, seeing commercials. Like, I think commercials would be a really good thing to do for this contest. Um, and yeah, let me go through and actually just kind of... Let's let's go through and like look at what I was just, just thinking about looking for inspiration, right? So I just typed in... I forget what I typed in to get to this. But I was just looking for like old promos because I think promos would be a really easy thing to do as well. Um, let's watch this. I'll turn the audio up. But like, I could imagine a really creative entry. Like you might think, oh, this is this has nothing to do with. This has nothing to do with mocap. But it's a certain feeling of cable TV and what you could do and you feel someone feel free to use any of the ideas I'm gonna I'm gonna throw out. You can you can use them. Um, but like you could easily do when I saw this, I was like, oh, I could create grab a piece of mocap, grab five pieces of our free mocap, put them on a silhouette and render them. And that's it. Like don't do anything fancy just the silhouette of the mocap and then take that and make like a, a rococo tv promo or make a promo of any channel right you get some of the cooking mocap put a character on it use it as a silhouette throw it into after effects or whatever <coughs> excuse me and i'm sick which i mentioned before so i'm coughing a little but like make a silhouette for this sort of thing and there's it's glowing and it's multicolored and it's got venetian blinds on it get some uh super stock music and put it on behind it and like rococo tv you know we make uh or uh tv that makes you move or tv that moves right little tagline um like that is totally acceptable and i think would be like a really good entry and doesn't require even that much rendering now one thing that i did though type in is just channel surfing cable 
And as soon as I did that, I mean, there's so many different things that pop up of old ca cable surfing. 13 minutes of channel surfing from 05. Um, this one was really good. This is an hour. Excellent shows will be on tomorrow. And I hope, uh, I don't know if I'll get struck for this. Maybe I'll turn the audio off. But the audio is kind of interesting. Um, but this is just channel surfing from 91. But you can kind of get the cadence of like TV from this sort of thing. So this isn't super good. This is like a, a sports thing, which you could totally do. But here's like a, an afternoon sitcom, right? And you can see like the set, how horribly lit it is. You know, you can kind of see how the shots are. You can feel free to cut in your entries. You can have cuts. News, super low hanging fruit. And we have uh, mocap takes that would totally work for stuff like this. Um, and I think also like there was a little bit of confusion at one point <clears throat> in our rules we had, you couldn't have overlays. You can have overlays. What we meant is you can't have watermarks. You can't watermark, you know, with, with like a social tag over it. But like this adds so much to that TV feeling, right? These, these overlays, and they're so easy to generate. Nowadays, you could use Mid Midjourney or ChatGPT, you know, to do it. You know, this would be like hilarious, right? Um, this like terrible green screening with like the weird things behind it. And this is obviously going for a certain era. This is going for 90s or 80s or 70s American TV, right? Um, which it doesn't have to be American TV. These, uh, Tim Fox is British, I think. I'm sorry, Tim, if you're not. I'm pretty sure. Um, from the UK, at least. But it doesn't have to be American. I, I think that you probably would want to stick with, like, English just because the judges might not, you know, if you do a Brazilian TV commercial, they might not fully, like, appreciate it. Um, but there's 2000s TV. I think commercials would be really easy and good to do. Like, look at this. And, and of course, then you have an opportunity. Yeah, you could totally use subtitles. A thousand percent, Sasha. So yeah, it doesn't need to be uh, English. Jenga commercial. And obviously it needs to use Rococo motion capture, so it can't just be like a, a, a fluid sim with like pills dropping into it, right? You need to use the mocap. Um, they need, the mocap needs to be the focus. So human animation needs to be the focus, but you can still, you know, it doesn't have to be on screen the entire time. Like, look at how terrible this is. Fantastic. Oh my God. Let me turn this down. Hold on. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We a Merry Christmas. Look at these sick graphics, bro. What is this? We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you. Interesting. Don't drink and drive commercial. Uh, commercial. Investigative reports. The reporters could not. The result you know, a weird background with computers and I don't know. There's so many different things that you can do. And I think that you can get really creative with it. Oh, another great idea that I thought I thought another idea that would be great would be. Um, oh, man. What are those compilation CD commercials like this would be we, we have mocap of. um Hey, Luke, what's going on? We have mocap of uh, like playing instruments, doing all this stuff. 
uh, singing. No living being gotta... should ever eat processed food for every single meal of their life. Okay, I gotta turn the music down for this because I'll probably get struck. But, like, this would be so easy to do. You can make up your own songs, right? Just use some stock music. It depends on what you want to do, right? But this is like doing i i think kind of trying to fit into the theme of tv is where you want to be um so however that and it doesn't also it could be something like very serious it doesn't need to be funny at all um it could be like a more intense movie scene or something i th i think and then there's so many things that you could do if you did want to go really hardcore intense beautiful you know intricate render um there are other things to make it like tv ish you could just the way that it's cut and the way that the shots that you're using so i think that you do want to yeah yeah alberto <laughs> i didn't see that but yeah probably yeah this is from 91 or no this is from i'm sure this is from the 90s um but there's there's so many things you could do on top of a really beautiful render if you wanted to do that. And of course, you don't have to be VHS-y like this is and all, you know, static-y. Like, you don't need any of that. But it's one way to go. And it's just uh, it's just one of many different ideas that you, that you could have. So, yeah. Um, okay, so now I thought... You know, so what what immediately hopped to my mind when I was thinking about things to do? Now we get into Unreal, and I don't I don't know how long we're gonna go today. I just it again. My throat is killing me. <clears throat> um, but I can show you very quickly how I might go ahead and approach something that was a little bit of a low uh, hanging fruit in terms of doing something quickly and efficiently. And what I would do for something like that is again we go to the landing page rococo.com you go to community you go to the rococo tv uh you know landing page it's right there in the community you go to mandatory use of rococo tool or asset or even in the description of this yeah the free uh, resources link is even i'll put it in the chat but it's even here it's in the description below we, we made a bunch of free motion capture and part of uh, one of those free mocap um, hold on let me take this off screen but basically uh, no hold on This is where it will direct you to on that free resources page. I think you just have to sign up and it'll send you an email with a link to this. But this is all the free mocap that we've made. Um, I know I am having a cup of tea. It's helping my little chamomile. So you can see I went through and this is again, we, we have a bunch of other free mocap packs that some of them are older. They might not work in like Unreal right off the bat. They should all work fine in Blender or Cinema 4D or Maya um, or even Reillusion to more or less degrees. Um, but mocap is always interesting and be prepared to, there's always troubleshooting involved in mocap. Um, but in this, specifically this Rococo TV free mocap pack, I have a bunch of different things. Um, Performance. You can see I also exported Unreal, Mixmo, and Human IK versions. We have, I don't know why Sword, sorry in here, uh, but Stand Up Comedian. Like that would be a super easy one to do, right? Stand Up Comedian, Singer, Trumpet. We You could do any, oh, look at this, Fighting. I don't know why all these are in here. Wait, what's in the combat one? Weird, just got copied over in, into that one too. Um, but yeah, we have performances, we have illness, we have home shopping network. I think that would be really easy to do. Um, what? 
Oh god, the combat got like added to everything for some reason. Just in the Unreal. Great. Yeah, I'll go through and delete those maybe. Um, but anyway, the, the other ones that are supposed to be there will be in there too. Contestant. <laughs> Assault Rifle. Oh my god. I'll go ahead and do this off stream, but but this is uh, you know you could do a game show, you could do there's so many different things in here I think that you could do. Um, yes, yes, Yasuke. Uh, if you go to the question being, is there any resources for retargeting with Auto Rig Pro in Blender? If you go to our YouTube channel and you go to videos. And you go to get insights and get started with Rococo TV. And I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this right into here and put this in the So this is now I just I just put this in the uh, in the description as well. But there is uh, and, and this is it right here. Um, so here I kind of go through and show where to find resources for all the different tools. So if you go to the Blender retargeting one, we have a Blender retargeting workflow, but then I also have a Blender live stream that we did going through a really good Auto Rig Pro workflow that allows you to use control rigs. Um, it's kind of crazy to see how many Sams can we get on screen. Um, but yeah, so so this is this is where I would go if you have any questions about needing educational resources at all um but but what my mind automatically went to when i thought about this contest is like um real housewives reality tv promo like something like this oh sandy hook thing Watch a little ad here. You know, you could easily do these like little effects and everything, make it really TV, add the bumper, add the little lower third, right? That makes it very TV -y. And, <laughs> you know, this is like such a, such a thing, such a vibe. And we have a bunch of reality TV. I did a bunch of reality TV ones. Of course, it's gonna have all the fighting in here too. But talking head interviews. So what I what I thought we could do is download two of these. Let's download. Sitting, talking, gossip. And I'm gonna download talking head. And let's open up a Unreal project because I do now I'm in Unreal all the time and just very quickly kind of set up a scene using only those two animations. Um, nice, Isuke. That's awesome to hear. Get it. Get that blender. Make that donut, baby. And participate in the challenge because you could win some sick stuff. So let's make a new project here. And, ooh, I need to make a new folder. It's the 5th of January, 24. First project in 24. 24.01.05. Office hours, uh, reality TV. And I'm gonna save it to my Unreal folder in there. Re reality. Uh, let's call it 01. Let's create. And I'm going to do this very quickly because I just want to show a process of how to do this. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. And so I'm actually also going to be, I'm going to get some, I'm going to get something from cargo. 
Uh, so let's go to cargo, which we have a bunch of awesome prizes from cargo. Um, and I thought that we could use this burger joint. Again, I'm going for really basic. So I think what I would actually do for this is I'd want to set it up on like a stage. I'm not going to go hunting for like a stage model. And I'm not going to model a stage, obviously, in real time here right now because that's that would take too much time. But I think what we can do is I can make this work for the purposes of, of what I'm trying to show. Because um, this has some benches. Actually, hold on. Great thing with Cargo, Kitbash Cargo, is that you get access to their entire library. It's a subscription. Um, but you get access to all of the assets that they have, which is just crazy. Um, and uh, we are we it's a it's a bunch of the prizes it's in a bunch of the prizes for um, for this contest um, Neo Manhattan I want something with interiors Uh, police department, no. Although we have interrogation, mocap that we did. Emergency response, no. Neo San Francisco, that's where I am. God, there's so many good kits in here. Diner, Cyber Streets. Mm, no. Retail stores. Actually, retail stores could work. See, this looks perfect. Look at this. This is great. And I actually have a good internet connection now, so I can download things quickly. So it should... I, I am streaming right now. But it should down... I should have downloaded this one before. Bugger. Bugger balls. But it should go... It's 2.11. Yes! Okay. We gotta add new software. To do that, we're gonna go to Unreal. We're gonna select 5.3. Then we're gonna go actually find the project that we are doing. Right there, continue. Shut down my Unreal project. Then I gotta open up my Unreal project. So great, you don't need to import that test thing anymore. Um, we'll open it back up. And this is going to be great. This looks like a set from a reality TV show. We'll just have to move some of the some of the things, which I think we can do. I don't know. Well, it'll be it'll be fine. This looks very set like, right? Already, with this with this backdrop, and if we could just get rid of some of these items, which I think I don't know. We'll see how easy that is to do. Hit import, it'll import it in. And then we'll go through, and again, I'm in Unreal, but we have tutorials in that in that in the description below. I, I went and I showed you where I mean on our YouTube channel, if you we have so many retargeting tutorials. Oh, I've got to activate cargo. Window cargo. Now I can uh, retry. There we go. Uh should work. We'll see. But we have so many tutorials for all the different softwares, right? Blender, Cinema 4D, Maya, Unreal Engine. We just released two. And, and in that video that I that I put in the chat, I point out where you can find those tutorials. Um, and also some other relevant information about the contest in general. It's a good video to watch if you're just starting get uh, if you're just getting started. Because so I tried to go through and explain some of the questions people might have. Things like that. Um, I gotta center my Unreal project here in a second, but we're importing, assigning materials. Gotta love Unreal. Mm. Loving it these days. Alberto Flores is mostly to blame for that. 
his genius. Most of our Unreal tutorial, a big part of our Unreal tutorial, focuses on using a control rig that he um, released for free. Alberto, who's one of our mods on Discord, alongside Kana um, and a couple other people. The weather in San Francisco is sunny, amazingly. It's been raining for the last two weeks, so it's finally sunny. It doesn't normally rain, so it's good that it was raining. Normally it's just foggy. Okay. Look what we got. Look what we got here. And yes, this is all baked, so it's not going to be easy for me to mess with this. But I want to mess with it. Oh, you know what? Actually, hold on. Can I open up the blueprint? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so I can just go in and start deleting things here. So this is great. This looks like amazing already. We have a stage. And look, I can even, let me just get these chairs into position. And we're doing a reality TV show lineup, right? Hold down Alt, up. Oh. Can't copy it in here. Can I copy it in here? Yep. And let's do it one more time. So I don't know, something like this. Let's, let's, I'm not gonna go crazy, right? Compile, <clears throat> save. Here we go, look. Look at this. This looks awesome. Uh, I gotta get rid of these things though. Control E to jump into the blueprint. Then I'm going to the viewport and I'm selecting things manually. Let's get rid of these. Up. Oh! Compile, save. There we go. Now we have a big, nice, open, beautiful looking reality TV show set. This is like perfect. We're already halfway there, right? Now we need to find some motion capture, right? Oh, Alberto, sorry to hear that. Um, I'm gonna, if I, I'm gonna click these, this hamburger up here and I'm gonna create a camera here, which is something I love that shortcut. Just so we have our one camera we can always go back to. And now we need to get some characters and get some, some motion capture. I'm also gonna add just a light. Kind of lighten up our scene a little bit here. Looks good. Um, okay, so for this, I'm just gonna grab some characters that I have from the Epic Marketplace. You could easily do this with metahumans, right? And with the metahumans, they come rigged with facial motion capture. Um, and what you could do, and I'm just gonna add a bunch of these weird guys. Actually, and I'm just gonna do, um, For the purposes of this, I'm gonna do two characters. And I want them to be weird. Cause I like weird characters. So yeah, let's go with the heretic. And so yeah, you could do like a, here, just like, you know, I'm using Unreal rigged characters, which makes it really easy when I am adding mocap to them. And I go through this entire workflow in our Unreal tutorial video. Um, but what I'm gonna do, whenever I'm using Rococo motion capture, remember we download some Rococo mocap <clears throat> from our free resources page. So I'm not making any mocap using a suit for this. Although I could, I could go into Rococo vision and make some custom mocap 
that might even give you a better chance in like the breakdown um, category because we want to see people making motion capture, although you don't have to at all. Um, but I downloaded two pieces of mocap. The first thing that we need to do when working with Rococo mocap, and again, I go over all of this in our tutorials, but I need to add the third person uh, content pack. That's going to give me access in this project to the mannequins, the Unreal 4 and the Unreal 5 mannequins, which we need uh, in order to make all this work. Um, so there we go. I've got my mannequins in this characters folder here. It also comes with a bunch of awesome rigs. My dog is snoring. Very cute. Um, <laughs> um, and now we need to go and import our motion capture. So I'm going to go to create a new folder. I'm going to call it mocap. <coughs> Excuse me. Import to game. Go to downloads talking head interview these are both so i because i'm in unreal i download the unreal engine versions of this motion capture we also have mixamo and human ik but for and not all of our free assets will have unreal versions of the mocap so you may need to follow the ik uh retargeter workflow if you're in unreal in order to use some of the older mocap but in this case we have an unreal version that we exported from rococo studio right i went and exported in different uh versions one of them being unreal so we have the unreal mocap and if you have the unreal mocap then you can uncheck import mesh you can batch import them and i'm going to select sk mannequin skeleton when i'm importing and then i'm going to hit import all and right off the bat, we've got our motion capture. And this is also uh, the PC specs. I'm actually running on a laptop that has a 4090 Ti in it, 16 gigs of RAM. Um, so it's awesome. Love this thing. Love that they got 4090s in the laptops, even though not, they're not 24 gigs. Might be 12 gigs of RAM but it is uh, it kills unreal which i freaking love um but you don't need it for lumen right you can work with eight gigs minimum it's better with more but here's some of the reality tv mocap that we made and it's pretty damn reality tv if i do say so myself no it's an msi actually corporate crypto um but yeah it's great love love these laptops Although I'm, I gotta get my big boy up and running again. Um, <clears throat> so we got our mocap in, and most importantly, our mocap, as you can see, because we imported it in on the UE4 skeleton mannequin, this mocap is gonna be compatible with any character that's rigged using the UE4 mannequin skeleton, which is incredible. Because almost all of the characters you can get on the Unreal Store, uh, the marketplace, will be rigged using Unreal Skeletons. So this only goes for Unreal. Again, we have workflow tutorials for retargeting to other characters, Mixamo characters, in other programs, Blender, Cinema 4D, Maya, whatever it is. So this is just one... We're just in Unreal, right? So I'm going through the Unreal process. And I don't have to use a character that's rigged with the uh the unreal uh, uh, epic mannequin skeleton but if because i would just have to use the ik retargeter which is fine it's a great system and we go over all of that in the in the uh in the rococo in the tutorial for unreal so if you have a mixamo character or whatever it's an easy process too it's just a few more steps but it's all covered in the tutorial very simple um but in this case, I am going to be using a character that's rigged using the Unreal Skeleton. And because it's rigged using the Unreal Skeleton, let's go find my heretic. Let's, let's use naked heretic boy. Okay, he's a little too naked. Let's use shirtless. This is a reality TV show, right? So 
got to make him look weird. So I'm going to go up to open up my mesh for this character. I'm going to go to the skeleton, which you can see it, it defaulted to the mannequin, which is fine. It's just a preview mesh, but we need to go to window asset details, add a compatible skeleton and make sure that it knows it is compatible with the SK mannequin skeleton. Let's hit save. And at this point, if I open up my, my guy, and an easier way to do this is just to show you here. Let's drag our boy into the scene. <laughs> Let's create a new level sequence. Reality TV 01. Let's add him to it. Up. Oh. Let's add our, where are you? Heretic F to it. Animation and look. We've got our mocap. It's done. It was that easy. So I actually, I actually want to use the other one. And it looks like he's like a little too big. So let's make him 0.9. across the board. And there we go, right? And we can obviously go in and do more editing, which we would need to do. And actually we can go in and do that in a second. But what we can also do is we could grab him Create another copy of him. Load in the same animation, but just offset it. And now we are, we are in business, right? And, and then what I would do basically, if I was making one of these promos, right? I would just use this as a template. I would just cut out seven seconds of this and I would just say, what is this? And the great thing about these stupid promos is that they're just like a com, They're just like a combination of like random shots, right? It's just like this, right? And then it's like this slow pan or whatever. Um, you know, it's like a, <laughs> like a rack focus from one to the other one. Um, and so I would just make, I wouldn't even, what I would do is like, I would just film a random collection of clips and then just put them together in a promo and do VO over it, right? And this character, um, I didn't add facial mocap to a lot of what we <clears throat> did for free. We do have facial mocap that you can find, I think on the free resources page. I don't know if it's ready to go, but also you could use Live Link, uh, Unreal's free system. Um, you could get a, a trial membership of the Rococo uh, Plus plan and you, if you have an iPhone and just use the Rococo uh, facial motion capture system to add some facial mocap if you wanted to. You could also just add a mask to this dude and then you don't need to have them talking. There's so many different ways. Oh, look, I got rid of something, but I didn't get rid of the computer. Look at it. It comes with... Decals, so cool. 
But yeah, there's so many different ways of, of doing this. Now, let's say I did want to, uh, the one thing I'll quickly do, and then I think we're going to call it again, just because I'm going to lose my voice soon. <coughs> I'm so sorry. It's so unpleasant, the coughing. Um, but what if we wanted to edit this? Which you, we would probably want to do, right? There's so many problems with this. I mean, actually, this looks not bad, but I don't know. There's lots of things that we need to fix, I think. Um, it's actually pretty easy. And the way that I would go about doing that is that in that Unreal Engine tutorial that we have, um, we have this Rococo Resources uh, link, link to this free Rococo Resources. And this is where we get into this awesome uh, Alberto Flores uh, control rig setup. So we have this asset in here, Mannequin Control Rig Auto Setup. And if I go and I add this into my Unreal project folder, into the content folder, now again, we go through all of this in our tutorials. But let's copy it in here, go back to Unreal, go to our content browser, go back to content. Look, we have this mannequin control rig auto setup. And this control rig will work for any UE4 compatible character. Um, for UE5 compatible characters, there's a procedural control rig, which you can usually get working. Control rigs can be a little bit tricky, for, but for this case, we're using a UE4 compatible character. I can go in, and let's say I want to bake this guy down to do some mocap editing. Right click on him, bake to control rig, mannequin control rig auto setup. Bake it, it's gonna bake from the in and out point and sequencer. And look what we just did. We have now baked a control rig to our... I can go and add an additive layer for the control rig. So that allows, so you can see there's keyframes on the main layer for the control rig, but on the additive layer, it's clean which means I can now make changes. Look at this. So these are gonna be persistent changes because I'm not keying them. Come on. So you can get pretty deep with this, right? And I'm not going to. Look at that. So much better and of course we get really deep and making changes and making it all look good but hopefully you can kind of see how you can go ahead and start building up and this is very quick right this is very quick and this is very and, and like even if this was super rough you can still get a good result from this even not going in and fixing all these things right like frame out the stuff that doesn't work um, it's a promo. You're going to have fast cuts, right? Um, there's so many different ways that you can, you can do this to make your life a little bit easier. Um, let's go in and, and add Ichiro. So I've got this other samurai. No, we need, we need a full samurai, right? <clears throat> let's go to a skeleton. Let's make sure he is compatible with the UE4 oh, mannequin skeleton. Let's save. Now I can use any of our Rococo mocap on this character. He's going to be our host. 
Let's lock the scale and make him 0.9 because it seems like he's they're all a little bit tall. Let's add him into sequencer. Close down our control rig. Look who we got. We got a gossiping Ichiro. So pretty quickly, we have created something that is not very nice looking, obviously. There's a lot of issues with the clipping and, and things like that. Add a keyframe. Add a keyframe. Always make your keyframes linear, depending on what you're doing, but God, gosh darn, it's one of the things I see so much is a constant, uh, is, is, I mean, a not linear animation. So it's it slowly speeds up in the middle for some of these camera moves. I absolutely hate that. Like this is a, uh, this is a shot we could use, right? Put a promo, put a logo over this. It's done. Do seven seconds of this, you're done. You know, whatever. Fade to blue, blur, the heretic and the samurai reality show, whatever, you know, right? Like there's, add robots, you could do, add bananas, you know, you could do whatever. Um, I think that there's a lot of things that, that, there's a lot of latitude that you can have because of the TV show format, right? Because you can you can add titles over things, uh, because you can have cuts. <clears throat> um, it's gonna auto save in a second, which is gonna be frustrating. Cancel. Oh, damn it. Um, but yeah, it's really. Um, I think there's a lot of different things that you can do that aren't going to make you go insane. Let's do 168 frames. I don't know if we're at 24 FPS though. I think we might be at 30. This is how you turn on looping, by the way. That took me freaking forever to figure out. Two, three, four. Yeah, so this is 30 FPS, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, oh, 30. So change that beforehand. Like, <laughs> it's pretty funny. I don't know. You know? You kind of got a reality TV show promo. You add a bunch of quick cuts. You add a bunch of funny whatever. Or it doesn't have to be funny. Again, I, I kind of go to funny and but you don't have to um there's so many other things you can do we have documentary mocap do a documentary do you can you, you can do something with like a serious message um like i remember seeing what is um Like this is such a amazing video. I don't know if you've ever seen this. This is a little bit older. Um, it's this faux documentary about uh, this Russian farm with robots in the future. Oh God, it's so, so interesting. I mean, it still looks incredible. Three years ago though, it looked even, it just looked perfect. 
I mean, that looks really, that looks freaking perfect. But like, do this, do a, do a serious, there you go, documentary on, uh, on, on this, you know, you could do so many different things. Um, God, this is such a good video. Um, and it's, it's really funny too. There's like always things happening in the yeah, background. Yeah. Everything goes into the black hole. But really incredible. So, so there's very, uh, it's really wide open creatively. Yeah. It's very Stalin hoggy. Um, I'm going to leave it there because my throat, uh, hurts and, uh, talking to myself, uh, for an hour, we'll, we'll do that. Uh, so it's a little bit of a shorter one today, but we'll be back next week. Um, I think we might be on Friday as well. Um, but maybe we'll do some more of these because I really want to make sure that people, uh, are able to, to get any help that they need to submit because, uh, man, there are so many crazy prizes that you can win. So thanks for stopping by everyone. Thank you, Alberto. I'm going to go drink more tea. Um, see you next time. Yasuke it's, it's awesome. Nice to meet you. Great stream. Thanks for joining everyone. See y'all. I'm going to time to go take some medicine. Okay. Bye-bye. Good luck. Get after it. Make some cool stuff.